Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. That depends on where you live in this wonderful world. But anyways, guys, welcome back to another Cars 3 Diecast review. Oh my God, we're doing so many of them. Yes, I know we're doing a lot of Cars 3 reviews, but hopefully you guys are still enjoying each and every one of them. If not, just let me know in the comment section below and maybe we can go back to Cars 1 and Cars 2 reviews for a while and then we'll come back to Cars 3. I just really wanna be doing what you guys want to see. So let's dive right into today's review of Tiny Lugsworth, a fire truck for the Piston Cup. So this guy actually comes out to help McQueen and we'll talk about his appearance when I open him up. But now let's just take a look at the packaging. Of course, as you guys know by now, all Cars 3 Mattel merchandise was officially released on May 1st in stores everywhere across the world. So hopefully if you guys want, you've had the chance to get some Cars 3 stuff. Now this guy is a deluxe, obviously. The first deluxe I've reviewed in the package. The description reads, blindsided by a new generation of Piston Cup racers, Lightning McQueen finds himself suddenly pushed out of the sport he loves. To get back on top, he will need the help of a young race technician, inspiration from the late fabulous Hudson Hornet, and guidance from a few old friends along the way. The other deluxes that you can currently find are Cars 3 Mac, Miss Fritter, and Red. Of course, Dr. Damage is also being released. I know a lot of people have been able to find him in Australia, but in the United States, I don't believe anyone has found him just yet. I did just buy one on Amazon yesterday for around $7, so he'll definitely be out very soon. Alright guys, I'll be right back with this awesome fire truck opened up. His name is pretty ironic, Tiny, because he's actually huge. Let me compare him to Lightning McQueen, and you can just see that Tiny is probably about twice his height, and obviously a lot longer as well. Very, very cool. I like that they made him to scale, because of course, naturally, fire trucks are going to be a lot bigger than normal cars. Now granted, he's not as big as Miss Fritter, nor as heavy. Miss Fritter is probably one of the heaviest deluxes ever just because all of this yellow here is metal. So he's definitely one of my all time favorite cars and deluxes. Tiny is metal for the cab portion right here, but once you hit this silver portion right here and going back, that is all plastic. But they're still both very awesome deluxes to kick off the Cars 3 line because of course, red is a re-release and Mac only has a new decal or two. So now let's dive right into the review here of Tiny. I like his expression even though theoretically he wouldn't be this happy because he's going out there to help McQueen after McQueen just suffered this terrible crash. But I guess we haven't seen the scene just yet. I do believe we've seen him coming out to the site of McQueen's crash along with Sally, Mater, Luigi, and Guido I think. I'll show the picture on the screen. It was from the first official trailer I think when the announcer comes on and says, let's hope this race wasn't his last. I'm pretty sure I'm correct about that, thanks to my memory there. But disregarding his maybe too happy expression, I like the detail around it, like with the grill there, the silver outlines around the headlights. I like the caution bumper there. You have some headlights or overhead headlights on his roof there. On the side here, you can see race, fire, and rescue. First off, that reminds me of Planes, Fire, and Rescue, which was the second Planes movie, but does confirm that it works for the Piston Cup, because I know a lot of these bigger, more occupational vehicles, like Miss Fritter, a school bus, are for the Demolition Derby. Also, the ambulance, Dr. Damage, is for the Demolition Derby as well. Like originally, when I saw his name, I thought he'd be the ambulance that takes McQueen to the hospital, but nope, not at all. He's actually in the Demolition Derby trying to get McQueen, but you guys know what I mean by that. Like RV, he's an RV, he's in the Demolition Derby. You have Mr. Drippy, a water tanker, Demolition Derby, so yeah. Also here on the side, there is a badge. You have the checkered flags there for the Piston Cup. 17, race, and then, or actually that says rescue, and then you have the little hospital logo, I think, right up there, and it says race division. It actually says D-I-V, 
but that is the abbreviation for division. It's too hard to see on camera. You have to put it up to your face really close to see it. I like the big tires here, the big rims. Here is the base if you're interested. Pretty long, so there's not much actually on this first part of the base, but back here is where you have all the codes. On the top here, you have the light bar and then race ZIV division 017. So he's the number 17 division. As we move on to the plastic portion here, you have the silver part for all the controls and whatnot where the water would come out. Very, very nicely done. You have the sprayer. I don't know the technical term for this. We're just gonna call it the sprayer, the water spout or whatever. It's a black plastic and it does swivel a little bit, but I don't recommend trying to like pull it out or anything because it would break off. Now back here, we don't have much detail. I do like the silver and red all mixed together. It looks pretty nice. We have these black things up here. Never quite found out the technical term for that either. And on the back here, I really do like race, fire, and rescue again. And then keep back. Of course, you got to stay away from the fire truck. We have that logo again for like the hospital, I believe, or like medical attention. And then you have some taillights right here. The caution bumper again. You have this like silver paneling and then the black area up there as well. So overall, very, very nicely detailed. One of my favorite deluxes, like even though, you know, just because he's from Cars 3, that's not the reason. It's because he's very well done. I really do like him a lot. And we do have his side view mirrors right there. And I think we got everything about him. Very, very nice. Definitely one of my favorites. So now... Let's compare him to a couple other fire trucks in the car's world. Here's Red, probably the most well-known fire truck in the car's line. Now, of course, these two are very different because Red is a much older design for a fire truck, whereas Tiny is a much newer model. But we can still compare the two. They have some similar features, like the control panel right here. There's the equivalent of it on Tiny. They both have these black things right here. Again, I don't know what they're called technically, so let me know in the comment section below if you do know. Moving on toward the back here. Tiny does not have a license plate. Kind of weird there. Maybe it's because he only stays at the Piston Cup tracks. That would be a very boring life if you ask me though. The little spout right there is actually flipped up on Tiny, but on Red it is attached kind of to the rest of the ladder there. Tiny actually doesn't have a visible ladder. It's probably in there somewhere, perhaps. That's my guess. They both have badges on their side doors, and that's pretty much it. I did want to show the smaller version of Red that was released up until 2011, and then Mattel decided to make him quite a bit bigger. I guess the reason behind that was to make him more accurate, but it did cut costs, I believe, because before, Red was like all metal, like all that red portion there, the back portion was metal. Now though, only the front cab, like this whole part is plastic and the mouth plate right there as well. So a little bit disappointing, but I do think it's more in scale with the rest of the cars. All right, let's move on to Rescue Squad Mater now. If you guys don't know who this is, it's obviously Mater, but he appeared in the short Rescue Squad Mater, one of Mater's tall tales when he tells McQueen that he used to be a fire truck. Is it true? Is it not? Probably not. Sorry, Mater. But a fire truck nonetheless. I did review him over the summer last year, so if you'd like to see that review, it'll be in the description below. He has a pretty big, nice ladder right there. The black things, the black sticks. He has bells. Tiny does not have any bells. Probably because he only needs that siren on top to make the noise and whatnot. All right, he's a pretty small fire truck. Let's move on to the ones from Planes, Fire, and Rescue. So it's pretty clear, based on the movie's title, that there would be quite a few fire trucks in the movie. And sure enough, Mattel released three of them. I think that was all three that appeared. I'm pretty sure about that. Now, this is Mayday here, the refurbished version. There's another version where he's a little bit older, has like older technology, and this one appeared at the end of the second Planes movie. I think he's pretty cool. You know, obviously kind of like the situation with Red though, Mayday is a lot older in comparison to Tiny. Both have their control panels. I reviewed this guy over the summer as well. 
I think like the same week I reviewed Rescue Squad Mather there. So again, if you want to check that video out, it'll be in the description below. He has the big water tank right there. The black sticks again. What are they? I don't know. Are they the hose or something? I really have no idea. I'm sorry. Probably sound pretty stupid for not knowing, but yeah, I just don't. Here is Pulaski, one of my favorite characters from Planes, Fire, and Rescue. I just really liked him. I love the die cast as well. He's a little bit newer. I feel like he's the most similar fire truck that Mattel has released to Tiny. They're pretty much the same size. Pulaski doesn't have a ladder, so that's another similarity right there. There are the control panels. They kind of have this thing going where you have these two chunks of the color and then you have that silver control panel right smack dab in the middle. Both are very cool. I think though I like Pulaski more. I just like his character. You know, he had a good character and I like his yellow and blue coloring because he's not like the typical red fire truck. He's a little bit different, which is what I like about him. And moving on to the big boy, Riker. Riker, he's pretty cool. This is actually a variant of him. I reviewed him a while ago as well, so link will be down below. Hopefully I can remember to all these fire truck videos in the description and for the cards as well. I think I will. And he is pretty hard to compare to because he's just so big. They don't even have many similar features, but Riker is the real deal fire truck for sure. He's got this moving thing right here as well. It extends out. He's pretty awesome. Definitely one of my favorites because he's a lot of metal. Like this whole portion right here is metal. So very, very nicely done Mattel on that. So that is all guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know which fire truck that I showed in this video is your favorite. I think I have to go with Pulaski, then maybe Tiny and Riker are tied, then Mayday and then Red and then Rescue Squad Mayday. I'm starting to lose my voice. Sorry about that, guys. I uh, guess I've had a long day talking, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time for another Cars 3 Diecast review. Like I said earlier at the beginning of the video, I hope you're still enjoying them. And it's not too much to handle because I know a lot of one thing can get tiring. So just let me know what you guys think. A little bit of feedback. And I believe that's all, guys. Yep. Yeah, thanks so much for watching. I will see you all next time.